I'm Major Christine Rock, and my husband and I are the divisional leaders here in the Empire State Division. Today is a fantastic day because we've just had the ribbon cutting for the FLT Chamberlain Women's Residence. So the FLT Chamberlain Women's Residence is four stories, and the first floor is going to be a shelter for homeless women with mental illness. Um, many of them suffer from other issues like um, substance abuse, maybe history of domestic violence, other trauma. Uh, the upper three floors, they're all apartments, so there's 16 fully furnished and subsidized apartments for these women to move into. So not all of the women have to come from this first floor to move upstairs, but they do have to be homeless somewhere in our community. We are going to have services for, for everyone who lives here. Um, on the first floor, we have case management and 24-hour staff to help with the shelter residents get what they need. And then on the upper floor, we also have case management and 24-hour staff. Um, but that's more for helping people develop independent living skills, cooking, grocery shopping, budgeting, getting income, and moving on from, from this building if they prefer. The Salvation Army has been operating a shelter here in Syracuse for women for many years. But now, in this new building, in addition to providing shelter for women, we'll be able to provide 16 homes for women. So we're really excited about this, and I'm particularly excited because I have here with me my friend, Major Sue Dunnigan, who is a relative of Ethel T. Chamberlain. She's going to tell you a little bit about what her grandmother believed in. My Nana Chamberlain, Ethel T. Chamberlain, went to the Salvation Army as a 17-year-old from Malone, New York, and became a Salvation Army officer. And from her day on, leaving training, she was a champion for women. She only graduated with a 10th grade education, but rose to be a territorial commander, a national commander, and meeting with people from the street and also United States presidents and international leaders. A memory I have of my grandmother is when they were stationed in Cincinnati, Ohio. My mother tells me that she delivered a baby and wrapped it in newspaper at a women's shelter inside uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. They spent many, many, many years here in Syracuse, New York, raised four daughters, and now that she has a legacy of love and um, I'm just so filled with the legacy that has been passed on to me through Ethel Chamberlain and now is being shared uh, with the women most vulnerable here in our Syracuse community. I think it's just an answer to prayer. Yeah, and I love this idea that your grandmother sort of came up from nothing yep. with such a limited education yep. Yep. and she made something of her life. Yep. And I think that's what we're doing here, yep. you know, bringing women in not just for a few nights stay, but a place where they can have a home yep. and create a life for themselves. So, great day.